how you squirting now i don't know if you've seen this recently but there have been some shenanigans happening in fortnite and i'm talking the kind of shenanigans that could make the game way less popular or maybe even nuke it out of existence. Now, I think I know the cure to this, but you'll have to wait until the end of the video where I give Tim Sweeney the rundown on how to make this stop. Now, I know how you all feel about Fortnite Creative. Trust me, I've been there. I've cried over it. I've yelled about it. I've, I've done everything. I've mourned everything, okay? It's not good, but it could be. But right now, it's definitely not. And I don't know if you saw the recent shenanigans as I was talking about, but the people at Epic have some serious work to do with Fortnite Creative at this very moment. There are monkey box fight PVP maps and worse, littered all over creative right now and some of the creators are even going as far as to advertise their maps on twitter or other places and just being like super racist i mean i don't know if you saw the clip already i'm just gonna roll it so you guys have the context into what this whole conversation is about and it is ridiculous it is offensive and it is so stupid so here watch the clip So if you have like maybe five brain cells and aren't a complete moron, you'll understand why this is totally unacceptable. And if you're one of the people with less than five brain cells and you go, oh, I just think it's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, you're stupid and you should stop doing that. Most likely you're like under 14 years old and you just think edgy humor is funny. But just so you know, this is not edgy humor. This is just being offensive and then being like, ha ha ha, I am such a comedic genius. No, you're stupid, okay? There is no punchline here. The punchline is black people. Like, good job, dude. So funny, so original. It is just outright stupid. The way it, it, it's, it's outrage marketing to the extreme and it's for something that should have been monitored and taken down within Fortnite's system a while ago. I mean, this map is still up somehow despite this crazy marketing tactic that 100% should get it taken down. And I am almost positive that it's within Epic's right to just completely outright ban this creator from ever making anything again, get rid of their supported creator code, everything. Now this video would be one thing if this was the only map like this. But no, I spent like 30 minutes on a stream just going through Discovery and looking at all the ridiculous maps. And I know I barely even scratched the surface. And this video isn't even just about the blatant racism that's going on within Creative. It's about so much more than that and why I think this could be the end of Fortnite if they do not get this together. I mean, there is so much AI use in these thumbnails. I mean, bottom bottom of the barrel stuff like every other thumbnail just has some fat guy like eating something and it's jamaica zone wars brazil zone wars italian zone wars or lgbtq plus zone wars and it's just either borderline being racist homophobic all of this stuff to just get some plays on their stupid box fight map. And that's the other thing. It's not even just the bottom of the barrel thumbnails that are being used for these maps. It's the maps themselves. I mean, they're all just box fight with like some twist. Like we played this bald man box fight or something and it just had Steve Harvey on the wall. And then every once in a while, something stupid would happen. I mean, it was utterly ridiculous. Bottom of the barrel, boring content. And yet it's all over discover i mean it practically is creative now don't get me wrong there are really good maps within creative i played one on a stream with dagwami who made the map and it is a fact it's actually a fantastic mini game map and i really like it now it's still not all the way there yet and i don't think i would personally play this map very often because creative has a long way to go but the ideas are there and they're executed to the best of the ability within the current confinements of the game but it pales in comparison to the slop after garbage after trash that is on creative right now and it's so frustrating to see this because one i'm already very disappointed in the state of creative how tim sweeney has decided to make this metaverse thing and try to push creative to the point of firing tons of employees and doing all of this other stuff and it's just kind of 
taken the soul out of Fortnite to an extent for me, but I still think Epic is trying and Fortnite is in a very good spot. I mean, I think this chapter is good. I think the Lego mode's cool. I think Fortnite Festival is cool. And I think Rocket Racing was at least a good idea, but it's so hard to be excited for the game when, when I log on, I just see this stupid menu of fat people and everything where it's when I just log on and I see catalogs of people just making fun of fat people are being outright racist just to get some clips on their dog shit maps. I mean, bottom of the barrel, dude. And to me, it makes me wonder if this game decides to go down this route, like how long do we have before they potentially see some major lawsuits? Now, Fortnite's already gotten in trouble for different stuff in the gaming community in the past where they've had to pay out massive fines. And while I'm not a lawyer of any kind or know any of that stuff, I do think that if kids start seeing this crazy stuff or start participating in these weird maps i won't go into what it could be but i've seen some stuff with roblox and i know that there's some weird stuff there and how it's totally not okay and if it starts happening under fortnite's roof i know it's going to get hit hard and i don't want to see the game become a pile of rubble just because tim sweeney can't get out of his head this idea of the metaverse nobody knows exactly what the metaverse will be we have a lot of fictional Yippee! now i don't want to just bash tim sweeney the entire time because again i'm a fortnite content creator i love fortnite i wouldn't be here unless the game was made but i just think they need to tone back a little bit on what they are doing. And this is when I'm gonna get into Tim Sweeney. Here is how you fix things. Please make sure the moderation is top notch. All of this garbage is being thrown in my face. And whenever I even want to maybe consider playing creative, I'm just getting thrown in my face all of this racist, homophobic, fat phobic bullshit that I don't want to sit through just to maybe find a fun map to play. It's all of the same formulaic, same old, same old nonsense that we're all so accustomed to and used to. And I think what people like to see the most is these very original ideas and very cool ideas. And sadly, a lot of that's just not possible in creative right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I think creative could become the next coolest thing in the gaming, but they're nowhere near it right now. And I sincerely hope that they start working towards that and just get, get the moderation on point now so we don't have to go through another couple years of this. I mean, it's already been happening. We've seen it since last year with like the Ukraine versus Russia box fight map that was available for a long time or the Palestine versus Israel one. It's like people are taking these topics, these insensitive topics, because it's funny, the 9-11 box fight map. Yeah, super funny. Like it's one thing if you're making a joke with a punchline, yes, dark humor exists, but if the punchline is 9-11, please laugh. It's not funny, it's not cool, it, no one's gonna like it. And then it, on top of that, it's just your lame ass, terrible box fight map that we've seen a million times. Please stop making these terrible maps. But again, people aren't gonna stop because it's making them money. So I am asking Epic Games, Tim Sweeney, please make the moderation better so I don't have to sit here and watch this garbage happen every week with all of these terrible maps. I mean, it is happening genuinely. I follow a couple people that will just post whatever they see and it is happening every week minimum and these maps stay up for a long time until the community starts getting outraged about them and even now you can still play on these crazy maps so please please i know i've been a little bit emotional in this video it's a topic that i feel very strongly about but please just get the moderation up to at least a decent standard stop allowing people to make the same recycled garbage with offensive i mean it doesn't even like it doesn't even matter that they're offensive just meaningless pieces of trash stop letting it slide try to cultivate a community that wants to play unique and fun engaging experiences not the same old trash maps that we've seen for the last millennia thank you and as always 
keep on squirting.